I can tell you right now, this episode is going to make me cry, or at least tear up, because it's called The Former Coward's Fight, and I love me some Yamaguchi, man. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 22, 222. It's like a wish. It's like a, it's like a miracle. Let's make a wish. I wish that Yamaguchi does some amazing shit this episode. Let's hope it comes true, guys. Last episode, Kentaro was getting better as the set went on. We realized we're not going to win a set 3. We have to win the set 2. Let's pop off. So... What are we gonna do? Oh my, I'm just thinking about Yamaguchi saying, please let me. Oh my god, it gets me hyped. I'm just gonna hop into this. Remember, guys, if you guys want early access to this episode, this show, all other shows I'm watching full length as well, Patreon is always available for you guys. Links are down below, as always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment for the YouTube algorithm, it helps me out oh so much. And if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, join that dapper squad. Don't forget to click that bell so you guys always know when I'm posting these videos. And then, um, <laughs> I almost forgot the last part. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Dapper Darius, like usual. Let's hop into this. IQ season two, episode 22. Let's do this. Gonna give us a little flashback to him being down in the dumps. Tsukashima is the only one who knows him that well. He went over to Ukai, who's in the smoking area. I love that man. Come on. This man is fucking crap. I mean, he just smiles and says, oh, I already know. That's a whole different look on his face, too. The scaredy cat pin surfer. Yeah, they understand it, but it's, just wait. You guys aren't going to be having that nickname for him anymore. Ten points. He's the one who physically ran away from the ball and had Inoshita get that receive for him. Which, Inoshita's clutch. Even they're not calm. <laughs> Remain calm. <laughs> That's just Kageyama and Tsukishima right there. They're the little cheerleading fan club. You got this, my man. I'll be there with you. I've said it since he started training with this with this college guy that Yamaguchi's gonna be a different breed when he comes back. And I am oh so ready for it. <laughs> Come on, man. His heartbeat is like my heartbeat right now. It's just fucking beating out of my chest. And I love how they make use of this eight seconds. Slow-mo the fuck out of it down. That's probably only like two seconds. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Didn't even try to go for it. Called it out. That's that feeling. Keep it up. <laughs> Everyone's cheering. Hell yeah. <laughs> they have to hold them back. Oh, you love it. Look at the guy. He didn't even move. <laughs> even they're cheering. <laughs> Which, I know I think I said it last episode how this show has gotten me into so much more volleyball stuff. I've seen clips and stuff on Instagram of people doing real life serves like this and it really does fuck with the other team like he was expecting a full-blown receive all the back just like nishinoya would but then he literally had to physically dive forward because it cut down so much so like like a lot of animes are very anime like i'll watch anime with friends who don't watch anime like how did he do this you know it's like realistic but it's anime whereas this is literally to, to a t exactly what happens in real life and i just i love that i have that context now Jump floats. I need to remember that name. Jump floaters. Coming from Inoshida, we know that for sure. Right. Both 
but yeah it's literally where you can solo carry your team i love the evolutions of serve you know from everything that's crazy when i was in school like elementary school and we served it was always the underhand serve i couldn't even picture trying to do a serve like that complicated <laughs> it like went up it was about to hit him in the face he would not have been able to receive that <laughs> Sugashima's just like, nice, sir. Boy, pun. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. It's a good counter. You're, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he did whatever he can. He did not run. He's gonna. <laughs> oh. Good, good, good shit. I love Sugashima's little smile right there. He's not gonna show whatever. He's not an outwardly emotional person, but that's his homie. Yeah. Not hitting the oh, that transition was fire. As close to the white as we can get it, just like that. That's literally as close as you can get it. That's going over. I love how he showed the Karasuno flag and everyone in the background. Like, oh, I love this show, man. Tied back up, and it's not 24-24, it's 23-23. This is still winnable by any squad right here. Oh my god, next two points in a row could do it. Except this time, it was more on purpose. It was, it was still luck for sure, but it was more on purpose. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I thought it was more on purpose. I like all the third years on this team. Maki, uh, Matsun, Iwaizumi, and Oikawa. There's some fucking amazing players. Alright, so that was just a pretty direct on receive. Tsukushima's not gonna let you block that. He at least one touched it, yep. Good save, Tanaka. Asahi is our ace. Come on. Rebound. Give it right back to us. Yes, okay. That's us. Let's go! That's me. <laughs> Bro, I love these two. I could do anything if Nishinoya and Hinata were cheering me on. Watari, good receive. Going over to Iwaizumi for a back attack. Oh, if there's anyone you're going to rely on, it's going to be Iwaizumi. Stop it, please. I'm saying. Oh, that's them, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck. Are we going really to a deuce? I love that drive. Hell yeah. Only get better. Only up from here, baby. Hell no, you're not. Hell yeah. 25, 24. One more. Come on. Come on. No. Is this going to be another game where it goes like fucking 35 to 35? Boom. Nice receive. Ooh, gotta get it back on our side. That was nice by them. Damn it. Oh, uh, Oikawa's back up serving. Ah, 
Oh, I hate when he has eyes like that. I hate it. Oh, oh no, that is out. But I'm saying the power in that was crazy. And now they're up one. Ooh, nice receive. Ooh, Tanaka. Asahi, right back to us. Please at least give us... No. If we lose this set, no. Kentaro. And then it goes to Iwaizumi in the back. Yeah, I thought Yamaguchi was going to be the game decider. Yes. Yes. Hold on to it. You need this every time. Again and again and again. <laughs> Man, that feels so long ago. That feels so long ago. And then our second match, and even that feels so long ago. <laughs> oh my god, we've had a fucking rivalry with Alba Josa. These are my boys. Oh, I love that. <laughs> they were supposed to be beneath us. <laughs> I love this rivalry, man. That's what gets me excited about so many teams, man. We could have this with Shiro Torizawa. We could have this with Nekoma. Oh my god. God, this show is so fucking good. I guess you can say it was all for naught because we ended up losing the set, but then you can totally say it definitely wasn't, and we gained some valuable confidence and some valuable experience from our man Yamaguchi there. Like, I just, oh, I love that little flashback at the end of the episode where it's like, they started as just a practice match. They started as just a team that happened to be shittier than us, you know? And then boom, from where we started with that practice match to the inter highs to now, they're getting better, we're getting better, we're going at it like crazy. Like, I love this built rivalry. It's not a rivalry that's been handed down generations like Nekoma, like the garbage dump, you know, battle, but this is one that's been literally formed and built. <laughs> And I love seeing it. Oh, man. Oikawa, Iwaizumi, Maki, Matsun, Watari. They are all nasty. Kendaichi, can't forget the boy. Oh, Yamaguchi's serves were next level. He had one that looked like it was going out, cut right down. One that looked like he was going to cut down, went right back up. So he's like, can't receive it. Man, I loved it. I love it. And I love the support he was getting. Not only from <laughs> Yachi, Psycho, everyone in the stands. Everyone on the bench, all the team. Yeah, they had a whole Nishinoya and Hinata back. Even the girls who were constantly, you know, just uh, who were the Alba Josai fandom were supporting him. Because it's like, no matter what, there's that little aspect of the underdog that you always want to win. Like, he is physically hurtling over these obstacles that have been put in front of him. And he's, he's actively fighting to be better. And how can you not, how can you not like that? You know, like, that's just something that's just, like, how do you not like that? To hate on somebody who's only bettering themselves and, and, you know, being better at their passion. It's just like, how can you be mad at that? Oh, geez, I almost just burped. But uh, fantastic episode, like I said. Love the characters, love the sport, love the everything, love the jump serves. This is just, I'm literally, I gotta start recording. I moved the box of tissue over next to my desk because I always am getting up to blow my nose, but I need to just record with the box of tissue here. This fuck, oh my God. That, that's it for me though if you guys want early access full length to this show all the other shows make sure to check out that patreon down below always is available if you guys did enjoy this please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias twitch twitter and instagram at dapper darius i will catch you guys in the next one thank you so much guys peace out